All right, quick little video today. I haven't shot a video in a while, and I was in the middle of writing something for someone. I'm writing a script for a client, and something came up that can happen when you're writing, and it's annoying. This is in final draft, so this is the final draft the only thing. And it's the smart type menu right here. And I'm just going to show you what I mean. So I have a character, and it starts with a D, and the right spelling of the name is D-R-A-C-C-O, but earlier I spelled it D-R-A-C-O-O -O and hit enter, so once you type in someone's name and hit enter, it's in there forever, and it can get really annoying to go through the menu and see that one you put in there by accident, and sometimes you'll pick it by accident for whatever reason. But you can delete that through the smart type menu. So just go up to document, smart type, and right. You can also hit control, shift L if you want, delete. And it immediately takes you to the characters menu. And you can also see the extensions menu, scene, intros. And but anyways, if you go down somewhere, uh, it, it also does it in the order that you entered people's names. So the first time you enter a character's name in the entire script will be the top name on the list. Unless you hit alphabetize and you do it by alphabetical order. So here you can see the name that I entered by accident. So I'm just going to delete that and then it's gone. Boom, just like that. It's gone. It doesn't ask you if you want to delete it, it just deletes it. So be careful with that too. I mean, yeah, you can just enter it again anyway. You can just hit new and type in someone's name. You know, Bob, now it's in there forever. Or, you know, you just type it in here. Type in someone's name. Bob. First time I ever entered Bob. So Bob's in there now. So, once you hit B, it'll be there forever. Because, see, it'll even say smart type right there. Because that's what it is. So you can go back. Hit alphabetize again. Hit Bob. So you want to delete that. Gone. Delete that. Okay, yeah. Also, yeah. So that's smart type. Uh, with characters, you can also do that with extensions. Same thing. I mean, I don't use anything beyond this, personally. But you can add something if you want to, or if you accidentally wrote something in there, you can do that. Interior, exterior, I mean, there's nothing more for those, really, that I would use. To draw just the locations that are in the... Right, yeah, so here's one that I made by accident, so I couldn't delete that. So it won't show up again for some reason. Uh, times, day, night, afternoon, other things. Again, you know, I wouldn't use much more than day, night, afternoon, morning, evening, whatever. Transitions, same thing. These are all just places where you can add and remove things. If you don't want them there, or you put it in by accident. And also, there's the options menu where it'll do some character matching and also just to automatically guess the next character, which I leave because usually it's right. Sometimes it's not the one, the right character that I want, but I just, if it shows up and I don't want it there, I'll just hit back and type in the new name, the right, the right name, but, you know, that's just me. Maybe you don't want that at all and you always want to type in your character because, I don't know, smart type is always wrong. But yeah, that's my quick little video on Smart Type. Uh, yeah, check it out. <clears throat> it's uh, very easy to use. You can just go to the document menu or hit Control Shift L. And I'll write that down below in the description if you can't remember that. Anyways, that's my little video on Smart Type. Thanks for watching. Bye. Keep writing.